Hey everybody, Mark from Northeast Bass Fishing. How you doing? Um, I got a, not a big order, but a small order from uh, Tackle Warehouse the other day. And as I told you guys on other ones, there are uh, other videos from Tackle Warehouse orders. They are doing the Bass Mafia Skeeter Boat Giveaway. Um, so it's a beautiful boat. I don't know if you guys have seen it. So every time you buy something from Bass Mafia, every $5 you spend on Bass Mafia stuff is, is uh, an entry into the boat. So what the heck you know it gives me a motivation to get a nice swim bait which you guys saw the other one i got and i got another money bag so i got the the tackle warehouse bass mafia money bag which is nice to you know, throw your stuff in here uh you know i like to throw my soft plastics in here into the boat and then it has the nice seal in there so it keeps everything nice and dry and I kind of just usually put these together for different style of baits. You know, sometimes slipping baits, sometimes just by brand. Um, I think I have one of these up in the boat now with all just my Max Sense stuff in there. So they're nice bags and they're pretty sturdy too. So I got another one of those. And I got the, the Zal Dangerous uh, Bass Mafia Dangerous Swim Bait. And this time I got the Texas Gizzard color in the six inch size. Now, I haven't thrown the other one yet. Now, you guys know I'm not a huge swim bait guy, but I do want to, you know, use them more as time goes by. And I, 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 this looks like a really nice swim bait, so I figured, why not give it a try? Let me get this open for you. I'll show you this Texas Gizzard one quick. And I just put these right back in the box. When I take them out, you don't want to bend the tails up. But that is really... That Texas gizzard is really a cool color. Now they call this a Texas gizzard. To me, it looks like a rainbow trout, but I don't know. Maybe they have the same coloring. Uh, but that's really cool looking. So when I finally, you know, rig one of these up and start throwing it around, I can give you guys a better, you know, impression of the bait. But I'm sure it'll be, it'll swim nice. And this is that six inch size. No real, no real, uh, scent on it but that's that that's that texas gizzard that's really cool that pink that pink lateral line nice looking bait so that's that dangerous swim bait from bass mafia and there's the the writing on the back how clear that'll be for you guys but if you have these you've seen all this already and this is the six inch size I haven't gotten any of the, the seven inch size yet but Depending on how many times I enter this contest, who knows, maybe I'll grab one of them. But usually I'll throw one of these in, in a, in a bag, or you know, if I get a Bass Mafia box or something. But so far I've just gotten the, the swim bait and the, uh, the big bag. Pretty cool. So for now, I am going to keep these just like this. Just like this. I don't necessarily need to put this back on, but I, for now I will. So that's how they come packaged. Really nice packaging. Uh, let's see. I did get a couple. I lost one <laughs> the day that I lost my rods. <laughs> I was throwing this uh, one of the uh, the half ounce, the uh, Joe Thomas Pro Series Rooster Tail, which is really a nice smallie bait. For you guys who don't throw, haven't thrown rooster tails, these were these are pretty effective. And you know, I guess it's, you could call it an old school bait, but I still do use these. And um, since they were having that Fourth of July sale, I think is when I got this stuff. Figured why not stock up on something uh, that I'll use, and I did lose one. I don't remember if it was, it was one of their chartreuse ones, so I just got two of the, of what do they call this one again? Fluorescent chartreuse, I think. Yeah, fluorescent chartreuse. Um, this may not be the exact one I lost. I knew it was one of the ones that have you know a lot of chartreuse in it, but this is a good color for smallies. So I got a half ounce size, and I got a three quarter ounce size. So you guys have seen me do some videos on these before. The only thing I will do is I will get a swivel and I will put it up on the top there because these will, these cause a lot of line twist. So I, if I'm going to fish these, I'll rig them up with some swivels on top, some good quality swivels, just so you don't get that line twist. And I've done very well with these. Since I'll be up uh, soon, a uh, week after next, not this weekend, next weekend, I'm heading up to Lake Champlain for the Candlewood Camp for two weeks. So I will probably bring these with me to throw them around, try and find some summer smallies that may be out a little deeper that don't see a lot of, you know, inline type uh, rooster tail spinners. So the half ounce, like I said, 
in the fluorescent chartreuse and the three quarter and it has a big treble hook trailer so i have done well up there on champlain in the spring with these i've never thrown in the summer so we'll see how it goes i did grab a few more of the five and a half inch spunk shads so i got the bruiser flash from uh, missile baits there's what that there's that that bruiser what i just call it <coughs> sorry bruiser flash that's pretty cool that black that black and blue with that flake in there it's really neat i don't really have much of an odor but that's pretty cool and i'm gonna and like i said i'm gonna use these on the hover rigs on that tush swim bait from uh, core tackle i'm gonna use them as uh now I've been watching a few videos. I, I watched a really, a really good technical bassin video the other night, and they were talking about uh, chatter baits and trailers and using the spunk shadow as a trailer. So try that a little bit. But I got that blue bruiser, or bruiser flash, sorry, from Missile Baits, and um, I got a pack of the Hog Farmer spunk shad, the June Bug in the five and a half inch. Can't go wrong with the June Bug color, especially in the summertime. And as I said on that video I did with the other spunk shots, I, I don't, I've never thrown these. I haven't used this bait yet, so I will be definitely using it. And it's funny, I went fishing Thursday, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, throw these on the chatter bait, and I left every single spunk shot down here on the table where I do the video. So, well, I didn't get it, but it wasn't really a great chatter bait day. It was a tough, tough bite day. I may make a video of the the footage. I have about five or six, maybe. Uh, catches on video nothing spectacular two two and a half pounders um it was a tough day though it was one of those days where you go out and you catch um nothing for like the first hour it was hot and then i get into one part of the lake and catch three or four pick roll and a couple bass and i'm like oh this is going to be good it's turning on and then i go another hour an hour and a half i don't get anything and then boom, boom back to back but it was very i think it was a lot to do with the weather it was a hot sunny day dead calm and then when the wind would pick up a little bit, it was to get some cloud cover, the bite would pick up. Um, when it was that dead calm, sunny day, nothing was going on. But, you know, it's it's July fishing. It's the dog days of summer. We've had so many huge storms come through. Uh, the weather has been anything but consistent. Um, so these fish probably don't know what's going on. The water is so high on all the lakes. So I guess I shouldn't complain. It's better than a drought. Um, at this lake, a particular lake nearby that I went to, you usually, I pull up past the ramp and back in and you back down you're out of the road you put your trailer in when i got there and backed in just i, I was still almost to the road and my trailer tires were in the water the lake is so high it had to be at least three or four feet above what i would say was normal pool um, but the best bite i got was at the end of the day there's a lot of you know pads and stuff by the uh, ramp and i was leaving and i'm throwing a frog and i catch my three three and a half pounder on a frog and it would have been a great bite but we had just had a big storm, and I took the cameras and put them away, and I didn't put them back out. So, unfortunately, I got a photo of it, but I didn't get, you know, video of the catch, which would have been nice. That would, would have probably convinced me to do the video, but I didn't bring any of these. <laughs> I forgot all my spunk shots, so. but I did only get one bite that day on a uh, on a chatterbait. Um, now, the other hog farmer uh, spunk shad, five and a half inch, was just the black and blue flake one. So, it's kind of like that, kind of like that... Uh, that bruiser flash, but a little different. Not quite as quite as fancy, but it's still pretty darn cool. Because that black and blue, the way they do it at Hog Farmer, it's almost like that, because I haven't taken this out of the packet, it's almost like that sapphire blue in the top of the bait, and then you get the black and blue flake more by the tail. So it's kind of like half and half, it seems like the way they pour it. Because I don't see any black really that first half, so it's kind of cool. Two different... Um, if you're looking for that black blue color, I'll show them to you side by side. That's the black blue flake from Hog Farmer in the five and a half. And that bruiser flash from uh, from Missile Bait. So it's kind of cool having two companies making the same bait so you can kind of see how they do their different color patterns. So if you're looking for, if you're throwing that black and blue uh, chatter bait, you've got two different nice options here of a spunk shad uh, to throw on it and that's the that bruiser flash and that black and blue one that's the hog farmer and that's the missile baits i don't want to mix them up because it looks pretty much like the same exact <laughs> same exact body i don't see any differences in any of the pores so they must be they must have you'd be using the same mold they look completely exactly the same 
Pretty cool. There's that blues are, make sure I get them in the right bag here. Blues are flash. And the black blue flake from, from Hog Farmer. Both very nice. Let's try them both. Just right now, actually I was looking today, Land Big Fish is having a Z-Man sale. So if you guys want to stock up on your chatterbaits or jackhammers, whatever whatever version of the chatterbait that Z-Man makes, which is a ton, now's a good time to stock up with 20% off. So that's the order, everybody. Um, just to re recap, I got two of the Hog Farmer Spunk Shads, five and a half, the Black Blue Flake, the June Bug, those two, the Missile Baits one, that Bruiser Flash is really a nice color. Got a bag of that. Of course, my 7,000th Tackle Warehouse sticker in my lifetime. Uh, the two Rooster Tails. And I think, and I know I've, I've shown these two before. Actually, I'll just pop one out of the packaging here quick in case you haven't seen any of the other videos. And if you search through my other videos, if you never saw, uh, didn't see any of the other ones where I showed you these, you can check it out. Of course, the tinsel is stuck on the sticker of the bait, so I gotta take it all the way off. But uh, if you guys have never seen, it's really a, you know, kind of a souped up inline spinner, the Joe Thomas version of uh, Rooster Tail. And this is the half ounce size, so it's, you know, it's heavy, nice chartreuse blade. I can imagine the Smallies loving this. I'll probably take it up to Champlain and get hammered by Northerns, but whatever. And they have a nice big treble hook. Very sharp. So it's all good, hard quality uh, components for these. So it's a nice, nice flashy tail. And as I said, I will put a swivel, a nice swivel on here. A good quality swivel because you do get a lot of line twists with these. When I first got them and started throwing them around, my line was really twisted up. So now, uh, like I said, if I'm going to take these out and fish them, I will get a few of them ready with that swivel so I don't have to worry because then I can put the swivel here and then tie directly to the other end of that swivel and not get any line twist. So that's it, guys. Oh, hold on. Cannot forget that uh, dangerous swim bait, the second one I've got, the six inch size. That Texas, um, sorry, Texas Gizzard is really a nice color. And since you get more, Ted, this will probably, maybe this will be the Spunk Shad bag. So, who knows? Uh, but that's the order, fellas. Ladies and gentlemen, and the female watchers of the videos. Um, so, like I've been saying a lot, thank you guys so much for the support. I'm up to 960 some odd subscribers. We're getting close to that thousand mark, which is my goal. That first goal I have to get to a thousand. And um, so I appreciate you guys that are subscribing, sharing the videos, liking the videos, all that stuff. And you know, I've said this in the past. I think 60% of the people that watch the videos don't aren't subscribed. So for you guys that are just watching them and not subscribing, just hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. I could get to a thousand real quick if 60% of you are not <laughs> subscribed that are watching. But uh, any questions on any of these baits, let me know. And this order, as I said, came from Tackle Warehouse for the 4th of July sale. I will uh, put links to all these baits on Tackle Warehouse if you're interested in checking them out. And um, if you're interested in that, that Skeeter giveaway, that boat, you can see the video on, on Tackle Warehouse and on YouTube. It's a really awesome boat. So if you're going to buy Tackle anyway, throw in a few Bass Mafia items and you know throw your, throw your name into the hat. Can't hurt because it is one heck of a looking boat. One heck of a beautiful looking boat. So um, that's it, guys. So um, I do have um, the from Core Tackle. I said I wanted to use these for the, the hover rig and that tush swim bait. I did get the tush swim bait in today, so I'll do a video on that soon. I want to practice rigging a little bit before I do a video on it, so I actually know what I'm doing. Look like I know what I'm doing when I do a video on it. I may throw away some of those uh, throw throw away. Yeah, I may throw away. I may throw together some of those clips from fishing the other day. We'll see. It wasn't a spectacular day. Uh, I might. You know watch it again and get motivated to put them together but if not you know it was only six or seven bass i think they got on tape before the sky opened up and i put the cameras away and it would have been nice if i had that big frog fish on but uh, whatever it was still it was still fun getting out um and that and i think uh, from land big fish i have some things coming i wanted for my trip to champlain some i wanted to get some of the four and a half inch uh, uh spunk shads so i got some of those coming um and they're having like i said uh, Land Big Fish is having a chatterbait sale. 
So I say Chatterbait. Z-Man sales. So anything from Z-Man is like 20% off. So it's a good time to, to stock up on your Chatterbaits if you're looking to do that. Okay. So like I said, any questions, let me know. Anybody's had any luck throwing this around yet? Let me know how you're doing. And um, I'll see you guys soon on YouTube. Mark out.